Cellular respiration is the process by which food is broken down by the body's cells to produce energy in the form of adenine triphosphate, also called ATP. The principal organelle involved in cellular respiration is the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. The first step to producing energy is glycolysis, which is basically the breaking down of glucose molecules from carbohydrates to pyruvates. In the cytoplasm, a phosphate is added to a glucose molecule, creating fructose. Enzymes then split the fructose into two three-carbon molecules of pyruvate. Different enzymes break off the phosphate groups of each molecule, leaving the two pyruvates for the Krebs cycle. Throughout the entire process, the other molecules produced are two water molecules, two ATP molecules, and two NADH molecules, which are also energy rich. The next step of cellular respiration is the Krebs cycle, which takes place in the cristae of the mitochondria. The pyruvate converts into a two carbon fragment, then attaches to a coenzyme already present in the mitochondria called coenzyme A. The new molecule is called acetyl coenzyme A, which combines with a four carbon compound present from the last cycle. Then NAD plus is added into the cycle and removes three hydrogen ions from the acetyl coenzyme A, creating three NADH molecules. An ADP molecule and a phosphate ion enter the cycle and take away a second phosphate, producing an ATP. An FAD molecule then takes two more hydrogen ions, making FADH2 which is another energy-carrying molecule. At the end of the cycle, a four-carbon molecule remains and starts the cycle again. The next step is the electron transport chain. NADH passes two electrons to complex one, called NADH dehydrogenase, which transfers them to a lipid-soluble carrier, ubiquinone, referred to as Q. Q is free to diffuse within the membrane. NADH is now oxidized back to NAD+. Q carries the electrons to complex 2, or succinate dehydrogenase, and then to complex 3. Each of these movements causes a hydrogen ion to pass through the membrane, producing a proton gradient. The electrons then pass through cytochrome C, then complex 4, and are combined with molecular oxygen and four hydrogens to create two molecules of water. At the same time, more hydrogens move across the membrane. FADH2 then donates more electrons straight to Q, and then they are passed down the chain in the same manner as before. The high concentration of protons in the intermembrane space is energy that is harnessed to make ATP from a phosphate and an ADP when the ions flow through the ATP synthase. After this entire process of cellular respiration, 38 ATP molecules were created.